Hey, how's it going everyone? 2022 Specialized Epic Expert in the black and smoke color, weighing at 23 pounds, 15 ounces. It's a size medium. And in kilos, it is 10.86 kilos. Stay tuned to after the video, we're here at Free Body Sound Test on those wheels right there. Thank hey, you. how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys this brand new 2022 Specialized Epic Expert. Uh, retail on this thing is $6,200. It is a size medium, and as you guys just saw, it weighed in right at 24 pounds. So 24 pounds for a full ready, race ready XC bike is actually a pretty good starting point. The bike is not tubeless, but it is tubeless ready. So if you want to, you can actually lose some weight there. There are a couple things you could upgrade, like the handlebar, the seat post, but we'll get into all that stuff. So 24 pounds for a base starting weight uh, with, with the options. Also, we have the cages and the tool on there as well is really good. Um, this is their matte black color that finishes into a smoke gray. So you can see it's like this raw black, raw black up top here. We go down to a specialized white logo and then it fades. It's like almost like a gunmetal smoke all the way down the chain state, which looks really, really good. Um, one thing I will say for 6,200 bucks, I wish it was electronic gearing. This is SRAM X01. It's still a great drivetrain. It's lighter than the GX. I would say this, but I wish that they would put on here a GX wireless system the GX wireless access system for this kind of money for $6,200. The next model up from this is a Pro and that has XO wireless or XO access. I wish this came with GX access, but still, if you're looking to racing a Pete, the XO one is a really great shifter and it's, a, it's actually lighter as well. So you'll probably be happier with that, but um, definitely wish it came with a, a wireless shifting at this point in the uh, time. But besides that, let's start off with the handlebars. So starting off with the handlebars, it is an aluminum 31.8 clamp specialized alloy handlebar. I believe the length on it is 780 millimeters. You can always cut it down to size if you wanted to. Uh, they have on here their own specialized stem as well, which is basic alloy bolts. Um, you can flip this if you want. I believe it's a plus six uh, stem degrees as well. The brakes on here are gonna be the SRAM level TL brakes. Uh, they are a two piston brake system, nothing crazy. You can upgrade these to a carbon fiber lever as well, but the actuation is really good. Shifter is going to be a SRAM X01 mechanical shifter. And then we have a the specialized lock-on grips. Lock-on grips are what I prefer, but I know a lot of people like to change them out to like the ESI, the foam grips, um, but you have options to do that as well. Going down to the front, we have the bright white S-Works logo with the raw finish. The fork on here is going to be the RockShox SID SL fork. I believe this is gonna be the same fork as what comes on the Pro and the, and the S-Works. The only difference is, is that the adjustability up here. And what I mean that by that is that the, the SID SL forks, they don't have any carbon steers, they're all aluminum steers. So this is their still their SL steer. The only thing is that this one has the, the brain adjustment, which you actually make it slower or faster for the rebound. And if you went to the Pro model to have the, the blue dial, that will actually allow you, to, allow you to adjust the compression. Like if you wanted it uh, stiffer or softer, you can turn the brain fully on. Whereas this is just gonna run the brain function uh, normal. And what this brain function is, is that as is, this front shock is 100 millimeters of travel. So this is a completely open shock right now. But what this brain does, is it actually keeps this kind of stiff until you actually hit a bump. Then there's gonna be like a little inertia valve that'll actually open up. So once you hit a bump, that it's gonna engage and it's going to allow the shock to do its thing. But then once you're riding back on flat surfaces, it is going to continue to kind of keep this uh, almost locked out. They want it to be a little bit stiff. There's always gonna be a little bit of play in there, but the idea is that you're not losing momentum into that suspension. So that's the idea behind the brain function in the front and the rear suspension is that it keeps it as close to a hardtail as it can until you actually need the suspension. Once you actually hit a bump or a drop or something like that or a rock, it's going to engage that suspension with an inertia valve and allow you to work it a little bit better. So we have the brain in here. Uh, we have the uh, six millimeter uh, axle for the through axle. It is a boost spacing 15 by 110. The wheels on here are actually a pretty good deal as well. These are the Revolve Control SL rims so these are actually the Revolve Control wheels. So it's a DT Swiss 350 hub, regular circular spokes, nothing crazy about it, but the rims are the exact same rims that will come on the S-Works bike model. It's a Revolve Control SL rim, uh, 29 millimeter internal width. They're asymmetric, so the uh, on, on the front, you can see they lean to one side on the front and on the rear, they counteract that, so it's a different uh, lacing on that side to make it a little bit more stiffer. and. Um, one of the lightest wheel sets on the market in the SL version. So pretty good job. I like the color scheme as well with the DT Swiss 350. You have the black and white up here. Great hubs. The rims are tubeless ready and the uh, the bike does come with valves as well. 
The tire you get in the front is going to be the, the uh, fast track control 29 by 2.3. Uh, they, I'm sorry, yeah, 29 by 2.35, fast track, and then like I said, the tires are tubeless ready, the rims are tubeless ready. You just need to add the tubeless valves, which comes with it as well. Going to the other side, it is a six bolt wheel, 160 millimeter rotor in the front, and then you have the ceramic frat, uh, flat mount disc brake caliber right here as well. Going down to the bottom of the bike, we have the specialized logo right here. Looks very good. We have a little bit of a bash guard or like 3M tape all the way down here, it's just in case you want to kick up some rocks. Going to this side, we have our bottle cages that do come included with the bike. You have the uh, Z cages, uh, preference if you want them left or right. You have the tool on here as well. So this is a, a tool given to you by Specialized. It has a four or five or six millimeter Allen key, a flathead, a Phillips screwdriver, a T25 as well. And then the carbon on here is going to be their Fact Carbon 11M. 11M is their model right underneath their S-Works. You're gonna get the 11M on the Expert and the Pro models. It's just one level down from their top tier carbon. Uh, going to the top, this is their Rock Shock proprietary brain shock. Uh, as you guys can see, we have a mounting system here. We have a mounting system right here. We have a rebound adjustment right here as well. Uh, this is 100 millimeters of travel. And we can see we have this hose that continues from the shock all the way down to this brain function back here, which we have some controls here. We have a firm and a soft setting. So when it's on firm, the brain is going to be fully engaged and it's going to act similar to a hardtail where the suspension will not be engaging as much when riding on flat courses. And then if we move it to the soft side, it's going to act as a full 100 millimeter travel shock where you have a little bit more range of motion. And this is ideal for if you're going on a trail that is a little bit more bumpier than usual, if it has some drops and you want to hit it, keep it on the soft side because if you do run this fast or this firm side and you're out here casing jumps or you're, you're out here hitting drops that you shouldn't be hitting, you're going to blow past that inertia valve and that's when you can have the shock need to be serviced or that's when you hear that squishing noise or that's when you hear that um that uh, that damage to that shock so you don't want to keep it's like having a shock on lockout and then trying to go from like uh a drop that's like six foot and just land on no landing and just straight to flats and that's how you blow out shocks really so you want to keep this if you're riding a cross-country course you want the fastest lap times keep on firm if you want to hit some jumps or have some fun or whatever you want to do with it leave it on the soft side and you'll have some enjoyment there. Uh, the bottom bracket on here is going to be a SRAM dub bottom bracket. It is threaded as well for the new Epics. The crank on here is an alloy crank. It's a SRAM X1 alloy crank. I wish it was a carbon crank again for the money, but I guess I have to have some differences between the, the Expert and the Pro. So just a SRAM X1 dub crank. The chainring is a uh, 34 tooth chainring, which I think is really good in there as well. And then also we have on here the SRAM GX chain. And then the rear cassette is going to be a 1052 12-speed cassette. I believe it's a GX cassette as well. And again, I would love to see a, an X01 cassette, an X01 chain, something to match the kind of $6,200 price point. The derailleur, like I mentioned before, is the SRAM X01 derailleur. 12-speed, it is mechanical. As you can see, we have a cable. I actually had a little bit of a, uh, it's been a while since I adjusted a mechanical mountain bike derailleur. And uh, it was fun. It was interesting. It took me a little bit longer than usual. The tire on the rear is going to be the Specialized Renegade Control Tire, and this is a 29 by 2.35 as well. And you'll, if you'll notice, you'll see the control tires compared to the Fast Track. The control just have a thicker sidewall, a little bit more heavy duty, so they can take a little bit more of a beating. The rear rim is a Control SL rim, 29 millimeter internal width. We have the regular rounded spokes with the DT Swiss 350 hub. The ratchet system in here is a 36 tooth ratchet. If you stay tuned to the video at the, uh, the free body sound test, you'll hear that at the end. And then the tire and the rim are tubeless ready as well. You can change out this ratchet to a 54 tooth if you wanted to. Uh, so keep that in mind. One thing I do like about their new Epics and their stump jumpers and everything like that, you can see they have this little kind of rubber gasket right here. If I'm to shove the brake cable for the hydraulic line in through this rear stay without any kind of guiding, and you can see this little black tube, you see like right there that little black piece is sticking out. I can literally shove this hose in here with no guides and it'll literally run and pop out right here at the end, which makes the mechanics way easier. So kudos to Specialized for making this much, much easier. Um, bike shops will appreciate it. I don't know if the consumers will appreciate it as much, but if you guys ever want to buy a pair of brakes and do them yourself, that is a amazing feat. Uh, we have the S logo or the Specialized logo on the back. The rotor in the rear is a 166 bolt uh, rotor as well. And we have our SRAM level TL uh, brake caliper in the rear and then again I'm gonna have to give this a little knockdown as well they put on here a alloy seat post 
for the uh, Specialized Expert uh, Epic. I would love to see a carbon fiber seat post on this bike for it being $6,200, for being a race ready XC bike. I know they want to, again, differentiate the price point from expert to pro, but man, just put like a, even put like a cheap carbon post on there just for aesthetics. I think it'll be great. But they have an alloy seat post on here by Specialized. And then um, saddle they put on here are the Specialized Power Seats. Very comfortable, nice wide support, nice dense foam, huge cutout for a lot of blood flow as well. If you're, I can never really recommend saddle staying one, but if you're just uncomfortable on every single saddle you ever try, try the power out for a starting point and go from there because this is the most highest success rate that whenever I recommend one to someone, they say they enjoy the saddle the most. So definitely cool. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video guys. This is the Specialized uh, Epic Expert 2022 from the flat black to the smoke gunmetal color in the back. $6,200, size medium, weighed right in around 24 pounds. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, free up body sound test coming on this 2022 Epic Expert with the Revol Control uh, regular wheels. Here we go. Very quiet engagement, but you can add it to a 54 tooth engagement. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.